Despite torrential rain in Bangkok, crowds of mourners have begun camping on the streets around the royal palace ahead of the funeral of Thailand's late King Bami Baladulia Day. More than 250,000 people are expected to attend the five-day Buddhist ceremony, which begins on Wednesday, 25 October. People take cover from torrential rain as they begin to queue and sleep on the streets near the royal palace in Bangkok. Christopher Furlongetti images arriving a day early to guarantee their place for the lavish funeral procession and cremation ceremony. Mourners pitched flimsy tents in the middle of Bangkok's old quarter to provide some protection from the tropical downpours. Hotels in the Old Town neighborhood have been booked up weeks in advance, and a national holiday has been declared for the 26th of October, the day of the actual cremation. Even though the funeral has yet to begin, many of the people camping on the streets had tears in their eyes and were visibly emotional. Hunched beneath a makeshift tent made of cloth and string, Chilam Porn Paybutter, a 72-year-old woman from northern Thailand, described her determination to bid farewell to a much-loved monarch. I traveled here two days ago so that I could be the first to get a good spot, she told Reuters. We only have to brave the rain for a few days. This is worth it if we can be near him one last time. Around 1,000 people had camped overnight in the downpour, police said on Tuesday. Some only had their plastic raincoats for protection. A Buddhist monk takes cover from torrential rain as people begin to queue and sleep on the streets overnight. Christopher Furlongetti images a mourner takes cover from the rain behind a placard featuring images of the king. Christopher Furlongetti images people wearing black brave a downpour as they arrive near Bangkok's royal palace begin to camping out ahead of the cremation. Christopher Furlongetti images a policeman guarding the site of the king's cremation is reflected in a wet road. Christopher Furlongetti images people camp out on the roads surrounding Bangkok's royal palace. Christopher Furlongetti images Thailand has suffered torrential rainfall and floods this month. Nine people have died, and 19 of the country's 77 provinces have been affected. Parts of Bangkok were hit by flash floods on 14 October. The city's metropolitan governor Asai and Kwan Wang said the 200 mm of rain was heaviest the city had seen in 25 years and that it overwhelmed the city's drainage system. A man helps push a motorcycle on a flooded street in Bangkok on 14 October 2017 Roberto Schmidt A man rides his motorcycle on a flooded street in Bangkok on 14 October 2017 Roberto Schmidt The floods will not affect the cremation ceremony in any way, Interior Minister Anupong Pauchinda told reporters. Thailand's revered King Bami Baladulia Day died a year ago, and his body has lain in state in a golden hall at the glittering Grand Palace in Bangkok since shortly after his death. Around 12 million people, or almost one-sixth of Thailand's population, have visited the palace to pay their respects to their beloved monarch. Builders have been working for months on a huge crematorium complex that was built from scratch on a field in front of the palace. The crematorium is a representation of mystical Mount Meru, where gods reside, according to Buddhist and Hindu legends. The complex features nine gold-inspired pavilions and more than 100 sculptures and statues of angels, gods, mythical creatures and former kings. An aerial view shows the royal crematorium site for the late King Bami Baladulia Day in front of the royal palace in Bangkok. Athit Parawang met the Reuters the 21st of September 2017. Traditional dancers stand next to the Great Victory Royal Chariot that will carry the late King Bami Baladulia Day's body in a giant ornate urn to the cremation site. Athit Parawang met the Reuters. The royal crematorium complex for the late King Bami Baladulia Day is seen under construction near the Grand Palace in Bangkok. Athit Parawang met the Reuters. Thai royal funerals are traditionally elaborate, comprising rituals which span several months to more than a year. Shortly after death, the body is bathed and dressed and placed within a funerary urn. The urn goes on display for a lengthy period, during which ceremonial music is played every few hours while Buddhist monks chant. The urn will then be carried on a golden chariot in a grand funeral procession to the ornate crematorium complex. At the culmination of the proceedings, the urn will be placed on a purpose-built funeral pyre surrounded by sandalwood flowers for the actual cremation. Pictures of late King Bami Baladulia Day are reflected in a puddle in Bangkok. Soezia Tun Reuters King Bami Bal, who died on 13 October 2016, aged 88, reigned over the country for 70 years. He was highly revered for his dedication to the country's development, demonstrated over many decades by his visits to even the most remote areas of the country, where he was able to hear directly from citizens about their concerns. He was widely seen as a father figure and regarded as the nation's moral compass during decades of political turbulence including several coups, bloody street protests and a region-wide 199,798 financial crisis. 
He was succeeded in December by his only son, King Mahavahirilankorn, known as Rama X, who has since overseen a shake-up at the palace to give himself greater authority. He does not yet command the same level of respect as his father and presides over a country that has been sharply polarized by political strife over the past decade and has been under military rule since 2014.